CompTIA A plus Core 1 Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 2.6 Compare and Contrast Common Network Configuration Concepts. DNS. The Domain Name System, or DNS, is a networking service that translates domain names into IP addresses that computers use to communicate with each other. Think of DNS as a phone book, allowing us to use easy-to-remember domain names such as www.certificationsynergy.com instead of complex IP addresses. These user-friendly names are known as Fully Qualified Domain Names, or FQDNs. The DNS server takes this FQDN and translates it into its corresponding IP address, directing your device to the precise location of the resource you wish to access. This conversion from FQDN to IP address is essential for navigating the internet, as it spares us from having to memorize the numerical addresses for every website we want to access. Now, how exactly does DNS convert a fully qualified domain name into an IP address? Let's break it down, starting with what makes up an FQDN. An FQDN is a complete address used to access a specific device across the internet, like a web server. It's composed of several parts, including an optional subdomain or subdomains, a domain name, and a top-level domain. For an example, let's take the URL https colon forward slash forward slash www.example.com forward slash info forward slash about us dot html and slice out a portion of it. The FQDN will include the www as the subdomain, example as the domain, and .com as the top-level domain. When you use this FQDN in an attempt to search for a device, it sends a request to a DNS recursive server. This recursive server, also known as a DNS resolver, is specifically designed to handle DNS queries. The DNS recursive server then starts the process of finding the IP address that matches the FQDN you're searching for. Now, let's dive into this lookup process, step by step, to understand how it translates an FQDN, like www.example.com, into a numeric IP address that leads you to your desired resource. When you start your lookup, it sends a request to a DNS recursive server which begins the process of looking up the IP address associated with the domain name you enter. The first stop is a root server. A root name server provides a referral to the appropriate top-level domain server. For our scenario, the .com TLD server. The DNS recursive server then reaches out to the TLD server, which then directs the DNS recursive server to the domain name server responsible for the specific domain. The domain name server will then return the IP address associated with the domain to the DNS recursive server. The DNS recursive server will complete the lookup process by providing the requested IP address back to your browser. Now that we know how the DNS lookup process works, we will probe deeper into the topic of domain name servers and the many different types of information we can request from them. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.